Greetings, awesome social studies teachers. My name is Peter Blankfield. I am the K-12 Social Studies Professional Development Academic Trainer. In this presentation, I will attempt to walk you through a sample for planning middle school and high school hybrid lessons. This presentation is divided into three parts. Part one will cover the generalized schedule of TUSD's hybrid plan approved by the governing board to highlight which students you will be meeting with synchronously and which students will be working asynchronously each day of the week. Part two consists of an overview of a sample weekly lesson plan template created by the curriculum department to give you a visual representation of the planning that may occur weekly for the various students you will be instructing. Part three will show you a sample of a weekly lesson plan created for American history. Hopefully you will see how I visualize connecting various student groups learning that you will support weekly. Let's start with what your schedule might look like and when and how you will see students synchronously versus when your students will be expected to do work asynchronously. I realize that some site schedules may vary depending on site needs and the number of periods per day. However, for the purposes of this presentation, we will presume a six period day. The first thing I wanted to point out is the color coding and what it represents. Blue represents in-person learning for hybrid students and pink represents 100% remote learning for students. Both represent synchronous learning. You will notice you will meet with every period every day. However, not every student will be attending synchronously every day. It will take you two days to, to meet with every student synchronously. Looking at Monday, for example, you will meet with periods one through three in person for those who have chosen in-person learning. Please note you will meet with your students in periods one through three who chose 100% remote learning on Tuesday afternoon. Hence the reason for my comment related to needing two days to see all your rostered students. Students following the blue periods, that's in-person learning, will be expected to work on classes they don't see in the morning asynchronously in the afternoon. Conversely, the students who are 100% remote learning, that's the pink track, are expected to be working on classes they don't see in the afternoon asynchronously in the morning. Finally, you will have synchronous contact with all your students three times a week, very similar to a block schedule. We encourage you to plan your classes in the same manner that you would plan for a block schedule. Now, let us look at the sample weekly lesson plan template to assist you in visualizing what type of planning might occur on a weekly basis. This sample template is broken into three main sections. A summary section, a synchronous instruction section, and an asynchronous section. The summary section, which you are looking at, includes standards, objectives, support materials, items you may need to create or acquire, and the formative assessment. The synchronous teaching section that you are looking at is broken into two parts, half in person and half remote is part one and Wednesday is part two when you will meet with all your students from remotely and we will see that on the next slide. 
Part one is broken into two groupings that are color coded on the sample template. Yellow represents Monday and Tuesday, green represents Thursday and Friday. The left side of the colored portion for each grouping has space for your lesson objective or objectives. The white space gives you space for your lesson segments, your anticipatory set, your direct instruction, your independent practice, uh, and your closure activity. Included in this sample template are four distinct groups of students you will interact with synchronously and each day is labeled AM and PM over the course of the two days. Our goal was to help you wrap your brain around the type of schedule and note which group of students you will be working with at any given time. Wednesday is part two of synchronous teaching. One could consider this as teacher's choice. In addition, this is the only day of the week you see all your students synchronously for one period each. As with the other portions, teachers have space for the day's objective or objectives. Furthermore, this section offers sample ideas for how to structure your lesson. For example, you could use this time to do whole class learning activities uh, continuing building on the week's new learning. Uh, you could possibly use this time for community building. Or you could even use this time for your whole class assessment or to do some test prep and review activities. The final section of this sample template is devoted to asynchronous learning activities. This could be thought of as a student choice portion of the week's learning. We organized it as a learning board which can be utilized to support a flipped classroom model with preparatory activities that students complete prior to attending their synchronous class taught by you. However, these act activities can be used either as a reteach review or as an extension of the in-class synchronous learning that occurred earlier in the week. <clears throat> this sample learning board has five sections. Section one is for videos to use to support this week's lessons, whether it's preparatory for Thursday and Friday, or review, or extending learning. Section two is independent practice using platform apps. For example, you could create tech sets in New Zella to provide students an opportunity to deepen their understanding while offering student choices in what they read in order to deepen their understanding. Or you could engage students in a ge geography activity using Arizona Geographic Alliance website and materials. <clears throat> Section three is activities, projects, extensions. This could be utilized to expose students to multiple perspectives, to engage students in an inquiry project, or to allow students choice options to extend their learning. Section four is titled Other Sources for Independent Practice. This is slightly different than the box next to it in that this is a space for you to use your tried and true resources that are potentially hyperlinked um, to your team's class page. And finally the fifth piece is for self-check and formative assessment. 
this could be used as your asynchronous exit ticket slash closure activity. Uh, you could uh, give a quiz that provides feedback for uh, the week's learning, or you could possibly gather feedback from your students on how they feel about their learning, what's working, what's not. This sample lesson plan, which focuses on high school American history, is what I came up with for a, the model to try to walk you through this. I want to remind you that this particular model is for use by middle school and high school teachers. And finally, I would like to inform the middle school teachers that in the folder that has this presentation in it, you will also be able to find an actual example of a seventh grade um, sample lesson for, for the week. When we were asked to create this document, leadership was unsure when or if TUSD would be returning to a brick and mortar setting, but they asked that we create lessons revolving around uh, second quarter content and or standards. Following the content guidelines and scope and sequence, I attempted to provide teachers with a sample of a week study on the American Revolution. For me, I thought that creating the synchronous lessons would help to inform both asynchronous and Wednesday planning. So I started with this portion of the lesson plan and completed it prior to moving on to Wednesday as well as before I did the learning board. This is for Wednesday and this could be seen as a teacher's choice day. You don't, you know, it's up to you. It is your classroom. I want to remind you, however, this is just a sample created to support your thinking about how to plan for the unique situation we find ourselves in. This page is just to give you a starting point to think about planning asynchronous activities that diversify student learning and or provide student choice. Please note that the independent practice using platform apps just contains a list of apps you could choose to use. However, the other elements do provide actual materials to use during this week's learning for this specific sample. Holy moly. That was a lot of information. I hope that I presented it to you clearly and concisely. Uh, I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation, but if I was not clear anywhere or you still have questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. I would also like to point out a couple of things. My office hours are to on the left side of this slide. Um, they're Monday afternoons from 2 to 4 p.m. and there is my meeting ID. In addition to that, there are two sets of curriculum and instruction and technology services office hours that are offered on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 5. And there is the meeting ID for those office hours. And finally, I would like to draw your attention to the hot pink button that is circled in the bottom center portion of this slide. This is found on your Clever page. This will take you to a document that shows you the, all of the support personnel for the various platforms that TUSD has provided uh, 
for student learning. Um, I hope that you got something useful out of this and I look forward to working with you guys in the future if need be and y'all have a nice day. Peace, love, and harmony.